this video, we are going to learn how to make the slider tap animation along with the inverted corner radius in Framer. You may have seen in many of the website there is a design called inverted border radius. You may have think how to do that in Framer. So in this video, we are going to see both the slider tab animation and inverted border radius. Let's get into the video. To start the slider tab animation, first create the tab items. For that, I'm going to create a frame. Let's rename this frame as tab item. And let's give the radius of it to 24 pixel and take out this fill color and change the color to white. And then let's add an image and a content. I have already have the image. Let's bring this image inside it and let's make the tab item to be the stack. For that, I'm choosing layout and let's make it as start. And for this tab item, let's give the padding value. Let the padding value be 25 and let's adjust this height now we need to add the content so this is the content of it and let's give the name for this tag as content wrap and let's give the a gap between this tab item to be 60 pixel i think it will be fine so that we have created the tab item so by adjusting its position and changing its value we have a made the basic setup for this content item that is the tab item in order to use it again and again because we will be changing the image a content and the title so i'm going to make it as a component uh, let's give the component name to tab item content so that we have created the variant and for this image, let's give the variable to image. Okay, let it be like this. And for the title, let's give the a variable to a title. Let it be like this. And for the content, let's give the variable for this. Let's rename it as content. So we have created the variables for the images, title and the content. So whenever we need, we just need to use this variable and can be able to change the content of it. Okay, fine. So that we have I made the basic setup or for this tab item content. Now we need to add a, a tab which is about this item. So for that, let me add a frame which is about this content item. Let me give it as 720, 42. Let me take out this color and inside this we need to give the a title for this tab. So let me copy this title and paste it inside this. And for the frame, let me give it as tab wrap. And in order to make it as a tab, I'm clicking on this tab wrap and let make it as a layout. And for this laptops, let me create another stack. This will be tab title and for the laptops let me go back here let's make the alignment to be at the center and the color to be in the white weight to medium i think it will be fine and let's give the size to 18 or 16 okay fine so we have created the tab title one of the tab title let me duplicate it for four times now let's change the name of this to tablets and for this for this to watches and for this to earbuds so we have given the title for these tabs now we need to create a slider for this tab let's see how we are going to make this here we are going to use the inverted border radius so we need to uh, make a, a slight curvy here you got it we need to make a slide curvy here. In order to make that, we are going to use a, a graphic tools. So for that, just click on G to create a graphic tool. Let me show here. Let me show you here. And click on this path. It will enable the pen tool. Just click over here, 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 and here, and here. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to double click on it and make that and make the adjustment somewhat like this let me zoom it so this is how you need to make the adjustment now let me give the color to white 
uh, with a hundred percentage of opacity let me take out the stroke so this is how you need to create a curve like structure uh, in order to establish that uh, inverted border radius here i have brought this curve like structure let me duplicate it again in order to make it in a mirror direction i'm going to just click on it and in and in the rotate just click on this option so it will be like that okay now we need to create a rectangle between these two so i'm going to use a frame and let me bring it here and let's change the color to white here you can visibly see the a gap between these things so for that i'm selecting all those let me add a stack and let me give the gap to zero and for this and for this we give it as 180 pixel okay for instance let's keep it as 180 pixel okay so that we have achieved this inverted border radius now we need to make it as a slider tab so for that in order to reduce the complexity of that i'm going to create it as a component so for that let me create a component uh, let it be tab bg okay actually the type of this position shouldn't be in a relative it should be in an absolute in order to make it as a, a slider it should be like this particular thing should slide over this laptop tablets watches and earbuds so for that let me change the type to absolute okay here you can visibly see that uh, now we need to adjust the z index value for this tab so i'm going over here let me make the z index value to zero okay actually it should be visible so for that i'm selecting this title uh, let me change the color to black now we need to make this tab bg to slide over this tablet watches and earbuds so for that again we need to create the component so let me select this both tab wrap and tab item tab item content and let me create a stack zero let it let the name be slider tab okay actually we have created the step now we are going to create a component so let me create a component let the name be slider tab itself let's make it as fit content okay fine we have the first variant type now let's create that another variant let it bring it below the variant two and again let me create that another variant and another variant and let me arrange it and let me arrange it in order to understand it clearly okay so in the variant one this tab bg will be in the laptop so coming to the variant two this tab bg should be in the tablets okay so for that i'm clicking on this tab bg and let me move this over this tablet okay in order to increase the visibility i'm making this tablet color to sorry black okay now for the tablet let me let's do the changes to white and we need to adjust this position again yeah it's looking cool now now for the variant three this tab bg should move to the watches so let me go to the variant three i'm selecting this tab bg and moving this to watches okay and in order to increase its visibility i'm choosing this watches and let me change the color to black let me change the color of this tablet to white okay and for the variant 4 this tab bg should go to the earbuds so i'm selecting this tab bg let me move this to earbuds okay it will be fine i think and let me change the color of this earbuds let it be black so that we have create the basic structure for all the variants now we need to create the interaction between this variant okay so whenever i click on this tab title it should move to the variant 2 so i'm selecting this tab title going to the interaction new transition so when i click the first variant should be a variant 1 that is for the tablet and for that is for the laptop sorry that is for the laptop and for the tablet I'm creating an interaction on click the variant should be variant 2 got it and for the watch 
the interaction it should be variant 3 and for the earbuds the interaction the variant should be variant 4 so let's check how it's working it's working great but here i can able to see the color has not been changed so let me select this tablet let me give the color to white okay let me check again yeah it's working fine but here comes another issue i can able to visibly see a line here so in order to avoid this i'm going to the tab bg component um here i think it's better to change it as absolute position and now make the distribution to space between and for this let's increase the width a little bit okay let me check it again um, okay okay i think it will be fine let me check it again okay here i can't see the lines now it's working perfectly fine so we have a made a tab slider but coming to the content whenever i click on this tab item whenever i click on these tabs this item also should slide over here so for that again i am going to create another component in order to uh, reduce the complexity even we can do that functionality in this component itself but it will be a little bit difficult so i think uh, it will be fine to create an another component so for that um creating another stack let it make it as content and for this let me create a component let the name be content itself so for the variant let it be fit content let me give the variant color of it to white okay and for the radius to 25 again okay fine now here i'm going to add an another I'm going to duplicate another three content items that is this tab items so let me duplicate it for four times so for all the four let me create a stack you got it okay let me show it again so I have created something like this okay and for this tag let me set the distribution of this to start let it be in the center it will be fine and also the position should be in absolute uh, it's because of we are going to move the content in each of the variants so it will be easy if i make it as absolute okay fine and let's make the width to fit content okay and let me give the a gap of it to 100 Now for the variant, I have given the width to 800 and the height to 350. And here we have given this tag position to absolute. And here let me pin the position, let it be in zero for instance. Okay, fine. Let it be like this itself. Okay. And let's rename it as laptop. And for the second content, let me rename it as tablets. So for in order to identify it, let in order to identify i'm going to change the title for instance later we can change the image and content let me select the third tab item content and let the name be watches and for this let me change the title to earbuds okay now let me create an another variant and again another variant and again and another variant now let me rename in each uh, this one will be tablet this one will be watches and this one will be earbuds so we have created the four variants okay now i am going to adjust its position zoom it again so coming to the tablet i'm selecting this tablet stack and i'm moving it moving it to the adjustment of the previous variant okay i think it will be fine and coming to this one that is for the a watches and again i'm adjusting its position not the tablets it's the watches so let me adjust the position based on the previous variant okay i think it will be fine uh, and for the earbuds variants i'm choosing this stack and let me adjust the position not 
this, not this. Ah, this is the a perfect content. So let me adjust its position. Okay, so that we have created the four types of variants for each of the content. Let me go back to the slider tab. Okay, it's not looking great. It's because of something else. Okay, let me make instead of fill, let me make it as fit content. Okay. Here I can visibly see the changes. Now let me check how it's working. It's not changing. It's not changing uh, because we didn't align anything here. So for the first content, the variant will be laptop. And for the second content, the variant will be tablet. And for the third content, the variant will be watches. And for the fourth one, the variant will be earbuds. Now let me check this out. It's working perfectly fine. So let me come back to the home. Let me check this out. It's looked really cool. So this is how you need to create the slider tab animation with the inverted border radius. I hope you have gained some of the valuable information from my video. If you really enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And also, don't forget to share this video to your fellow designers.